Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods at Dovcom. Uh, I've already poured myself a glass of uh, the wine today. I haven't, uh, haven't tried it. Uh, but it's Jeroboam's, uh, London wine merchant Jeroboam's, for those who, who don't know. Uh, their unlabeled Bordeaux 2016, exclusively blended for us by top negociant Francois Tiempon. Uh, now, there's several branches of the Tiempon family uh, in Bordeaux. I think his cousins run Le Pain and uh, what's the other one, Vieux Chateau Certain, uh, I think his brother's involved with Pavi Macquin. Uh, what um, Francois does, he's, he's, he's got a, a company that's called Terra Burdigala, that's the uh, uh, Latin name for Bordeaux, and uh, the focus there is on uh, good quality, hopefully good quality, I haven't tried the wine yet, uh, good quality uh, basic Bordeaux. Uh, so let's see whether this is basic or a level or two or three above basic. Well, it smells young, fresh, vibrant, uh, slightly plummy, lots of black currant in there. It smells like there's going to be a warm roundness about it, a fleshy character. But it's got this perfumed side. I'm not sure what the grapes are. It doesn't, it doesn't let on. Uh, it does say that it's 14% alcohol, so not on the lighter end of, um, of Bordeaux. But it smells like it's going to deliver lots of flavour, but with that perfume freshness as well. And it's really juicy, satisfying, refreshing, uh, almost crunchy stuff. Um, and um, I don't notice a 14% alcohol. What I do notice is this vibrant perfume freshness. That, dr that black cone drive. Um, oak's been used really nicely here. Uh, sometimes uh, I, I, I see some people when they're trying too hard with basic Bordeaux and they, they over oak it here. Uh, um, the, the winemaker, I think it's a guy, is it Stefan Duran encore? I think so. Um, or well, the consultant at least, uh, he seems to have got uh, a nice sympathetic amount of oak. Um, the a good relationship between the flesh that's there, the fragrance that's there, uh, but still giving this slightly oaky framework. So it feels like a wine that's good now, and um, but has the potential to go on, not for ages, but like next couple of years, I think it's going to... Uh, uh, be in its, um, in, 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 yeah, that's, that, that's when it's going to be at, at its best. And uh, we're at the start of May now, Imagine this come Christmas, uh, Christmas this 2018 would be uh, singing, as it is at the moment, it's singing, it's still singing quite sweetly. I'm going to have another slug. Really tasty um, and vibrant and um, lively. The sort of words that people didn't really use to use about, about Bordeaux. Uh, I Bordeaux was correct and, uh, and uh, austere, but here there's a little bit of uh, perfumed pleasure. So I'm going to... Uh, I think take quite a lot of pleasure in drinking it this evening. See you soon.